I think one could say that we have entered a renaissance of beelining. It has gained uh, a new relevance and importance in a time where annually millions to billions of bees are dying in conventional beekeeping paradigm, where on the other hand, bees in the wild, in the wilderness, living in, in trees on their own, unmanaged, are thriving. And therefore, bee lining is one tool to locate, protect, and survey those bees. There are different designs for uh, bee boxes. This is one version. It both, any kind of bee box has two compartments, one front, one back with a divider. And the idea is to fetch bees off flowers or feed uh, water feeding stations uh, with this side to close it and then expose them to light. Here's a little piece of glass in there. Once they're in this on the right side, we can close the, the divider and start all over until we have about six to eight bees in here. We close this side, we close this side. Well, we place some feeding comb in here, close, open, and then allow the bees um, to, to um, engorge in, in the feeding on the comb over here. And then after some time, we will open the bee box and the bees will emerge and lemnus gate up into the sky, remembering the location. And then if one is lucky, <laughs> we'll come back. And then that is an established beeline from which we can build on and follow the directions in which bees fly away towards the bee tree. Two, three, four. It's a green thorax. Purple thorax is still here. Purple and green next to each other. Oh, green thorax. Uh, yellow thorax just came back. It's there. Thank you. 